no one said you were guilty of pride and it no one no one saying and I'm not saying that just because someone has rejection or hurt that they also have pride I'm saying those two things can go together so let's be clear on that and you you also know because I've talked to you personally sister you know about deliverance and the death of the spirit and things like that so if that's at three years old and that's word curses somebody spoke over you already at that young age which is super sad but generational curses and demons and things like that can stay in the bloodline until somebody breaks them which people like you and I are called to pray and break all those things so sometimes you just inherit um, demonic activity in your DNA and you don't even know it and then God raises up somebody in the family like you and me and God's soldiers God's chosen ones that choose him because you're chosen as soon as you respond to uh, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and choose to walk in his will and walk in the spirit and obey his will that's how you're chosen um, in Jesus name and you're called to break those things off so just because you had rejection and hurt doesn't mean that you automatically have pride or are guilty of pride no one's saying that I'm not saying that and I didn't say that but those two things can go together just like any spirit can link to another unclean spirit if you allow it to and sometimes they get in without you knowing but I hope that kind of clears things up a little bit in Jesus' holy name, I love you in Jesus' name. God bless.